channel as you guys can tell by the title today i am telling you guys all about my curly hair because i'm sure you guys are wondering so much about this um let's start by where i got this hair from i ordered this hair from her hair company it is their brazilian curly and i believe i'm not sure don't quote me on this but i think i got the inches 18 20 and 22 um yeah this is sewn into an ivy flip over method wig that's why my hair is always flipped over at the top i'll link the description to that video so you guys can learn how to make it on your own i have my 18 at the top then the 20 then the 22 um yeah i ordered this hair in december of 2015 y'all it is 2017 and as y'all can see this hair is still pretty flawless even though i had the hair since december i didn't actually like install it into a wig till january so technically i've only had the hair since january of 2016 because before then it was still in this little bundle form i had not touched it all that um before i got it put on to the wig cap i co-wash the hair so i just use conditioner whatever something i can't say about the hair the curl pattern has changed since i first got it when i first got it the curls was actually really really tight and looking back at some pictures that i have i'll possibly insert some insert some in the video looking back at the curl pattern how it originally was i didn't like it like i'm glad it loosened up um my hair is sewn onto a wig cap but that wasn't secure enough for me so i sewn i sewed i don't know the word i sewed on what's past tense for sew whatever i sewed on some hair clips like I have two right here. I have like five. I don't know. There, I have. I sewed on some hair clips to actually clip the wig onto my hair, and I leave out. I used to leave out the entire front row of my hair. All right, no, no. Let me. I'm lying. When I first started wearing this, I left out the entire perimeter of my hair, so I was able to do buns with it all. I'm gonna insert pictures so you guys can see. I had buns with this wig and everything. But then I started, slowly but shortly, I only started leaving out the front of my hair. And that's when I used to do the half up, half done, half up, half down. And for this last installment, I've only left out this much of my hair, y'all. My leave out is right here. That's my only leave out that I have. And everything else is braided. I braided it on my own. It's no real braiding pattern you have to have with this. Because, y'all, I ain't no hairstylist. So I just be braiding how I braid. I did straighten this hair once. I straightened it this semester and y'all this is curly hair so I applied a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of heat I'm gonna see if I still have that clip from that vlog that I straightened my hair but I ended up braiding it because it was a real like I was so dumb like why would I straighten curly hair in the summer knowing how humid it is so I ended up braiding the hair and I never wore it how it got straight but it got pretty straight I guess it was a puffy straight but it got it got straight i wouldn't have worn it like that really so i kind of forgot to come back when i like finished flat and my flat ironing my hair completely but i just braided it up because it's hot and it's gonna get poofy anyways and i put on some actual clothes and yeah um so i did straighten the hair and for it to revert back to a really nice curl pattern so yeah not bad for a lot of heat to be on this hair um right now do i have product in my hair yes but no yesterday when i was preparing my hair for the next day i sprayed it with the, my water bottle and i put my cantu the de curl definer i don't know i'm gonna go look at it i'll leave it in the description box and i put that and i feel like i probably put too much product so when i woke up this morning the hair was too like first of all it didn't even look curly anymore it looked wavy because i guess when i put the product on like the product dries the hair faster so when i combed it out it didn't allow the curls to shrivel back up it was more so a wave so i didn't like that so then when i realized it wasn't how i liked i sprayed it again and i didn't put no product in it but when it dried i could tell there was still product left over in it but yes and no but on the good side the hair is actually better without product if you guys ask me I'm going to insert some more pictures from when I first got the hair and I never used to put product in it. The curls were like beautiful, y'all. They were really nice, but you know, I don't know. Some days I put product in it, some days I don't. So something else I noticed about this hair, the shorter the bundle, the tighter the curls. Like my curls up here are like are and always has been a lot tighter than the ones down here. Like even now you can tell this is like the 22 inch bundle and y'all see where it is and then the 16 is a lot tighter and it was more defined when i first got it you was really able to tell um shedding i mean i guess it's curly hair when i'm combing my hair there's hair on the comb obviously but 
me going like this it doesn't really shed i guess and yo the fact that i can run my fingers through my curly hair and it doesn't get mad at it ain't that a good thing like that's perfect like so maintenance all right so this is actually my last day wearing this hair and i decided okay let me hurry up and go um make this video because when i used to wear this in the beginning of the semester you guys wanted a video and i ended up taking off the wig before i got the video out so i never got to make it so being that this is my last day wearing it i was like let me do this video this is my last day wearing it mind y'all i only had this hair in for like eight days exactly i kid you not it is so high maintenance but that's with any curly hair like every night i have to style it for the next morning like i can't and mind you it's a wig so i take it off every night so it's not even like i sleep on it but still like throughout the day the back gets so dropped right now it's not but i kind of just put it on like a few like two hours ago um so yeah but like it just looks so dry and not as flawless and popping for the next day so basically what i do every night before i go to bed is i wet it and i comb through it some days i put product in it some days i don't and it, it just be too much sometimes like i don't want to have to wet my hair every night and then like if i sleep on it then then what like i'm gonna wake up the next morning and it's gonna look so bad y'all another thing that i almost forgot to mention how do i blend my natural hair with this because i know y'all are probably wondering my hair gets curly but it don't get curly like this okay okay so let me show you guys a piece of my leave out um okay this curl right here show you guys this is my hair okay and that is not the natural state of my hair like if i was to wash my hair my hair my curls would not look like this y'all like would not look like this so what i do is with the little perimeter of my hair well the little spot of my hair that's left out which is right here i use perm rods which are these I don't remember the size of these. I think they're probably like one six, but they're the white ones. Like any white perm rods are gonna be the same size or whatever. And what I do is at night after I wet my wig, I wet the perimeter of my hair only a little bit. I don't damp, I don't soak it. I damp my hair, and then I take the little perm rod and we gonna pretend this is my hair, y'all. And we gonna take this and put it at the bottom and start wrapping and then roll it up. I'm not going to roll all the way up and then I will connect it and yeah, the next day I just take that out and then it'll give me a curl. It'll give me a, oh this is also my hair, this curl right here. It'll give me a curl, oh that looks so pretty y'all, <laughs> but it'll give me a thicker curl than this. So what I do is I separate the curls and then I'll take a piece of the actual wig, which would be this right here. You'll see the similarity in the curl. Not really. This is actually kind of tighter. But when I do what I do, it looks better. So then I'll take the piece of the wig. And I'm going to twist together my hair and the wig, basically. And then I'll let go. And y'all see that? And then when it mixed with all the rest of the hair, it's like almost gone. So that's how all this hair up here is blended with the wig. And yeah. This is way better of blending. Like, it looks like it's coming from my scalp, y'all. And then when I be telling people that it's a wig, they be like... Like, a lot of people think it's my hair. And quite frankly, before this video, if anybody asks me, I'm going to tell you it's my hair. But now, <laughs> my secret is out. So, yeah, this is not my hair, guys. If you guys did think it was, it's not. Okay, so I showed you guys, told you guys how long my hair was. Which I believe, do not quote me, was 18, 20, and a 22 if not it was definitely a 16 18 and a 20 but i'm gonna show you guys how long a 22 or a 20 is on me so my last bundle which is right here if it was pulled will come down to my hip like that's how long my last bundle is so that's pretty long i'm five feet if you guys were wondering i'm five feet so I'm, well it's not pretty long i'm just short but it's pretty long y'all and if i was to bring it to the front let me stand up it will come down right here which my belly button the top of my belly button piercing is right here so it's pretty long y'all so yeah all right guys so that concludes my little curly hair review i actually do really like curly hair on me but i really get tired of it after a while and i don't know i feel like if it was sewn in my head things would be a little different but not so much i always thought a wig would make it easier being that since you take it off every night you know you're not gonna mess up the curls sleeping on them i thought wrong because i still have to wet my hair every night but that's just my preference i don't know maybe if you get this hair you'll like the curls after they've been worn for a day don't get me wrong there has been times that i went out 
outside the next day without spraying my hair and like just how it was the day before. But those were chill days, like I had on sweatpants and all that, so it was nothing. It's not bad, but I just rather it fresh, you know? So, if you guys have any more questions that I didn't answer, just leave them in the comment section. Um, use my discount code. I don't have a discount code, y'all. <laughs> not yet. I'm not that type of YouTuber yet. I ain't got no discount code, but soon I'll keep up with y'all. But yeah, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button before y'all go. And keep up with me on Snapchat. I'm always on Snapchat, y'all. If y'all don't see no vlog from me in a long time, I'm on Snapchat most likely, like... I love Snapchat. At K.Chantrice, follow my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm starting to use Instagram a lot more because I really never used it like that. But my Instagram and my Twitter is K.Chantrice, one underscore, no dot. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.